guess we'll see. Um, challenge today is to catch uh, 90 inches plus in 90 degree weather. So we'll see how that goes. Take out the shallow stuff off. Put the drive down. Let's start with the text rig. Oh yeah. First fish on the big worm. That was fun. That was a fun little bite. Ah, I finally got the touch for it. That was just cool. Not bad fish either. Oh yeah. Over 17.
17 inch bass. There it goes. so fun catching something on a lure you've never caught something on before. I've come here before in August and I've caught them like how I normally do and the water was up a lot higher but I was getting weeds every single cast of the chatterbait Mr. Pike's around, you might be. Aldrich, I had one. Jackson, uh, there is bike in there. Really? And my big worm, I was missing the tail. Hmm. I think it's crazy how there's pike in Silver Rock, because that means they put them in there. <laughs> Day like today would like to me, I should be smacking them on a spinner bait. I couldn't get a bite. This time of year, August, when I catch my biggest fish on spinner baits. throw it for a little bit because this grass looks different than the stuff I was in. It's definitely weird. Because like I go over to Maumee Bay this time of year with a spinner bait and I'll catch an 18 or up every time. He just does decent in mosquitoes. We're qualified for them. That gives us four spots. Yeah. Right now would be me, Michael, Jack, and Kevin. But a lot of people nipping at the toes. You included. I, the tackle box, well, you could have a, a top four and all but one of them could be different after the tackle box. That's how close it is. In here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting, especially that time of year. Yeah, best it's I best I can do is third, but I don't, neither Jack or, Jack or Michael would have to have a really good tournament 
over one of these next two for me to be completely out of running in third place. Which, this time of year, it's hard to get a limit. Especially in an up ground reservoir. They're not exactly known as numbers places. Oh! <laughs> yeah, they're close. That's like September. I normally throw a white chatterbait. Yeah? Here? Yeah, all along this bank. Hmm. I don't know what it is about this place. I can't catch a cold with a chatterbait except for our team tournament. I caught a few then. But for whatever reason... Uh, for me, it usually goes in like three phases. I go crankbait, then it turns into a spinnerbait bite, and then at some point, the swim jig usually comes out, and then the fall it turns for in. them because the pins will pop out. Yeah. And it's basically like my cart underneath. I think uh, right where that guy is was where I caught uh, the bass earlier. But I. It was like the second cast of that big worm. Wham. Right on that edge. Yeah, and I thought, oh man, I got the bite. Nay, nay. Didn't and get... There's the ramp right there. You get another bite. I was floating around over here last week throwing the wacky. Yeah, I think with this, the wind finally uh, calming a little bit, that might actually be an option now. Yeah. Because before, I couldn't, my line would be halfway that way. Wasn't worth it. I'll try the Texas rig at first, see which one. I'll see if you get bit or I get bit first to see what the I deal is. The right color. Or it could be colored, you never know. I like this watermelon candy though. Of course I, I start talking about the wind and here it comes. Well, <laughs> what color is that again? That's that perch color I told you about. Oh, really? Yeah, it's got. Uh, it over there. See it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. That wasn't a bad bass right there either. That was a. That was a remelt mix of two colors. <laughs> I was like, well. Definitely. Alrighty then. Not around. You're gonna first first cast get a bite and I'm <laughs> switch over to the wacky rig, goodness. <laughs> One thing is sometimes you can get them back if yeah. you miss them. I had a lot of that at Aldridge. Only because a lot of times you lose them, they just have the, the worm. seems like that. What, you got a little jig head on there? Yeah. Uh, one eight, or one fifth, I like the octopus hook. That's that Berkeley Fusion weedless. Oh yeah.
smart cast. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Oh, how did that get off? How? Did it come back for it? That doesn't even make sense. Did it flip the hook? I have no idea. Did you see how big fat that fish was? Oh my gosh. It's like I didn't even have them hooked. I don't think that was a bass. All I have to do with this circle hook is real. And I think that was a pike. It might have been a bowfin. Now that I, I now that you say that, I saw it spin and it It's not very bassy looking. If it was a bass, it was a 20 plus. I just can't believe I didn't hook into it. It was like, it was like nipping at it. And so I like, oh, I missed, I start to reel. And then it... I wonder if the line was even wrapped around it or something. It wasn't even in its mouth. Missed one on a frog. I just missed one on a frog. I, I've literally never caught a fish on a frog before. I just missed one. What is going on today? That was a big fish too. Uh, he just missed it entirely. I, I don't think he ever had it. Nice little chunk. Get my scale on it. <laughs> 